you guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and today we have an online auction lot of jewelry that I won that we are going to go through today. So up on the screen is the are the instructions to place an order if you see anything you would like to order in the video. So there's my email address. Make sure you check the sold list in the comment section. Refresh the video so you're getting the most up-to-date list when you're done watching. And this is a new week, so I can hold your items for the week, but please let me know if I'm holding them. Otherwise, I am adding shipping and shipping them out to you. Okay, so you can screenshot this if you need more time reading it, or it is down below in the description box as well. Okay, so this auction lot I got, I think two weeks ago now. Um, if you guys have watched my previous auction lot unboxings, I have an, an online auction house right down the street from my house. It's about a mile and a half from me. So I always check out their auctions. Um, and I, you know, I don't really know exactly what's in these lots. Um, oops, that just completely fell out of the bag. They do give like a, like one large picture that you can like zoom in and stuff. This was one separate lot over here. And then, so I think this is two lots that I got. So we'll start with just what's on the screen right now. I'm going to grab my... Um, little makeup rounds because I know we're going to be doing some testing. I did buy some sterling silver. These are supposed to be sterling silver. So let's just go through this since it fell out of the bag. And this looks like a memory wire bracelet with matching earrings. If I can get it out of here. There we go. All right, so these are the earrings. These aren't too bad looking, right? They got that little like peacock bead with the iridescence. Um, so I'll do I'll do three dollars on the earrings, and then the bracelet. So you actually can open it up to put your wrist in right here, and then you have all these pretty beads. You got glass ones in there as well. So we'll do five dollars on the bracelet. All right, let's look at this. All right, this says that it is fine cubic zirconia. Okay, and it's all in different language. Uh, it was finest cubic zirconia created by contemporary designers. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is like a little lariat. And you have the pave crystals. Well, it's cubic zirconia, I should say. And then the back, I think that it does say that it's sterling. If I can find where I was looking. Here we go. Yeah, 925. So let's take it out so we can take a look at everything and give you a length. It definitely looks like it's in new condition. It is in the box, which is really great. to the side all right so let's test make sure that it is indeed sterling see if that's a good enough scratch it may not be It's not really showing anything. I may not have scratched it good enough. Okay, so it's not testing as sterling. So it may have a rhodium plating on it, which also could be why it was so hard for me to get a scratch. Um, so with that being said, um, I will definitely price accordingly and let me get you guys a total length. So total length on this is 23 inches. 
and then of course you would put the you put this around your neck and then slip this through here and that's how it would stay on so um i will do this for i will do this for um 18 dollars if i could actually get it to scratch test sterling it'd probably be around 25 or 30. so we'll do 18 on that and this is a nice watch this says quartz it's a geneva watch very sleek it is genuine leather um it may have been worn maybe once uh in this last little hole down here but you know who knows it of course does not work so i will replace the battery and um, we'll do this for twelve dollars okay <clears throat> Let's look at the Sterling lot. All right, and I will be having a live auction this Thursday on my channel. Um, that is the 13th. I just am not sure what time yet, so just please, you know, stay, stay tuned. I will come up with a time. It might be during the day um, because I have a few friends that have might have them scheduled at night and I don't want to, you know, step on anybody's toes. So it might be during the day, maybe like an afternoon, early, uh, late afternoon, something like that. So, um, but this looks really cool. This is actually really nice. This is a bangle. I'm gonna turn on Pressy because we got some stones to test here. This says 925 and let's see if we can see if that's a maker mark right there. That does not look very familiar to me, but I am not very good at the maker marks. It almost looks like SD, S, SD sideways. It almost kind of looks like the St. John um, logo though, but I'm not sure. So if anybody knows that, let me know. But I'm going to assume that this is amethyst. <clears throat> it does have a couple little dings and it does definitely need to be polished if you guys like, um, you know, the shiny silver look. All right, and let's see, make sure that this is amethyst. Yes. Okay, good, good. And then we will test it. I'm going to test um, all three of these at once. Um, so, uh, and then I will put pricing on the screen as I'm, you know, all of this, as I'm showing all of this right now. So like right now you'll see a price on the screen for this. This one is a little bit bent out of shape. This says Sterling. D something CZ. And then it says, what does it say on the other side? China. Okay. Now this one, I might be able to kind of bend using the mandrel. Let's see if that worked. Okay, I think I definitely got that fixed, so that wasn't hard at all. Um, I'm going to assume then that these are CZs, which it will just bring um, the needle up a little higher into the glass line. Oops, I just slipped off. Okay, yeah, so I would definitely say that these are CZ. And this was a larger size. This is a 10 and a quarter. Very pretty though. And I will have a price on the screen right now for this one. And then this guy, this is really, really pretty. This one is 925 marked right there. And then 
This is also, oh wow, that goes actually a little higher. Let it, let it sit. Mm, I wouldn't think that that's jade, but I'm gonna go with amethyst on that. And it is a size eight and a quarter. This one's really pretty. I love the work on the sides. Gorgeous. So I will have a price on the screen for this one because I'll be able to add it after seeing all these testings and stuff like that. And I'll look, see if I can look up the, the bangle. All right, so we are all positive for sterling. This one is, got, is just a little bit light. The blue is right up here though. So good, good. And that's that. Oh, let me get you a measurement on this. This one's eight, eight inches. I'll put that on the screen as well. Sorry about that. All right, so let's, I'm going to move these all over to my other side of the desk so I don't forget to put that information up on the screen. And let's dig into more of the lot. So he put, they put everything in like separate baggies, kind of separating things. So that's kind of cool that it's not all in one huge pile getting like tangled. It's in little piles getting tangled. <laughs> so let's pull this out really quick. This says, what does that say? Cruising Atlanta. It is a ceramic thimble. So we'll do that for five bucks. I know some of you guys co oh, collect these. It's in good shape. Put the bigger stuff out first that I can grab. Um, you got some Santa earrings. Enamel, cloisonne style from Brooklyn, which is probably about two hours from me. Um, let's do those for four dollars. We have this really pretty rose welcome gift from the international headquarters. Joining the women, women of the moose. It is a brooch, so we'll do that for five. That's really pretty. It's got little green rhinestones all over it. Um, this is a little Santa pin, tack pin. We'll do that for three dollars. True Value Hardware Store New York Giants tack pin. We'll do that for five. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is this a is this a um, ashtray like a portable uh, cigarette ashtray? It says Japan on the bottom. It's probably brass. This is like a ceramic, and then you would just uh, lean your cigarette right here, right? Because it looks like there's ashes in the bottom. But if I'm wrong, let me know. I will do this for ten dollars. This is, this has a mark. This is Avon. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. Let's make sure we're focused here. Um, I don't think it's in bad condition. It's definitely got some green on it that needs to be cleaned. Um, but otherwise, I think it's fine. And it is a drop of 14 inches. And I'll do that for $6. This is a seed, I'm sorry, not seed, a shell necklace with a screw barrel clasp and a hair stuck in it. I'll get that out. Um, it measures an eight and a half inch drop. I will do that for five. Yeah, there's some hair stuck in all this. Yucky. Gross. Okay. This is actually very pretty, but it is all peeled. See that? It's That was supposed to be all gold, and it is no longer. Um, same with the rest of these. So this will be a um, dollar in crafting. Okay. 
This looks like it's probably an anklet with some clay beads and some silver tone. It's not in the best condition. Um, it is 10 inches. I'll just put that in craft for a dollar. All right, this is, oh, I've got more hair on it. Okay, this is a plastic beaded necklace. I'll just do that for a dollar. This looks like a keychain. Let me just get it. Okay, yeah, so it is a keychain. You got the little Western boot and suede, black suede with these very dirty beads. Um, I will do that for $3. It definitely needs to be cleaned. All right, let me get this. What, what happened here? I don't exactly know what happened. I think we might be missing something because there's a tassel and I don't know where the other side would be. So we're just gonna do this for a dollar. It is all acrylic. The Limited. This, um, it has a little bit of wear the cross is actually in really nice condition. I think all the rhinestones are there. So somebody might want to take this off and put it on a regular chain. So I'll just do this for $4. All right. Uh-oh. I think I could put that back together. Okay, so I was able to remove the necklace and reattach everything. So, see that has an S on it. What does that mean? This is really pretty. There's a lot of hair stuck in everything, which is kind of grossing me out. Um, we can test these little pieces. Because I don't know what that S would mean, but it's very pretty. So let's do a length really fast and then we will test the stones. I don't think that they're gonna be anything, but we'll see. So it's an eight and a half inch drop on this. It's gold tone with all these really pretty um, different color stations. Oh God, there's hair everywhere. All right, I'll have to get that out. Okay, no, they're nothing. I think they're just acrylic. So I don't know the maker on this, but we're just going to do $6 and hope that it's not something super duper expensive. It's not magnetic, but it, it doesn't look like gold to me. So yeah. All right, then we got these. Um, these are metal. We'll do those for two dollars. We have a black seed bead necklace. So I, I'm guessing that's the extender. It's got these little silver tone stations. It's not really, you know, in the best condition. It's a 14 inch drop without using the extender. So we'll do that for $4. This looked like it had a hang tag. E, jeez, oh, I don't know who that, oh, right here. Emmons, okay, there we go. Very cute, gold tone. Let me just fix the little uh, tassel, tassel -y bit here. 
So it looks like you can remove this. It has the little um, spring ring clasp. These are acrylic and faux pearls. Seems like everything's in good condition. Very pretty. I love the chain, how it has that like um, texture to it. You can uh, hook the clasp anywhere on these links, but um, it's a 12 inch drop and then 15 inch drop with the tassel. So for the Emmons, let's do $14. That is really nice. Nice vintage piece. This is not in good condition. This is gold tone. There's discoloration. That'll just be a dollar. We have this gold tone chain. This seems like it's in much better condition. It's kind of got that like S look to it. Nice, nice. Seven and a half. So yeah, seven and a half. Let me um, open it up and do a full length because it does have that little bit of a bend in the chain. Yeah, it's 16 inches total. And we'll do that for $5. This says Leah Sophia. It is like a brass tone, antiqued gold tone necklace. It looks like it's in really nice condition. All of the stones are there. My lights have been flickering all morning because we've had so much rain over the past couple of days that the marsh in my backyard is now a lake. <laughs> um, and the lights have been flickering. I already lost internet for a couple minutes, so I'm really hoping that I can get this video uploaded for you guys today. Um, so let's just... Let's just keep praying. Okay, so Leah Sophia, really nice condition. It's got that like antiqued look to it. It does have an extender. Without it, it's a seven and a half inch drop. And I will do that for $6. That's really pretty. All right, let's grab a couple more little baggies here. Ooh, look at this. We have a nice big amethyst chunk. Okay. All right, so let's do that for six bucks. We have a key. Who knows what that goes to? It's the key to my heart. We'll do that for a dollar. <laughs> um, this is not in good condition. Look at all that wear. Eek, no, that's gonna be a dollar. This, let's see what you are. You are vintage, silver tone, faux pearls in heart shapes, pink and white. This is very cute. It has a total length of 18 inches. It seems to be in very nice condition. Let's do that for $8. That's beautiful. This has some rust on it. Not bad with the pave. I don't think that this is sterling, so this will just be a dollar. We have a pink plastic beaded necklace with a gold tone spring ring clasp. It is an 11 and a half inch drop. This will be $3. Oh, these are pretty. Uh oh, are these ivory? Oh boy, where where's my loop? Dallas, is nobody here, honey? So, um, I don't think that these would be, um, ivory. 
What does it say on the back here? RRR35, it looks like. Does it say that on this one, too? Yeah. I don't know. Very strange. But these are clip-ons, and they are really, really cute. And I'll do them for $6. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Cute. Aw, from Afghanistan. I have two of these. We'll do them for five dollars each. They're little tack pins. And then you got Sam's Town, Las Vegas, Nevada. Little tack pin. We'll do that for five. Oh geez, this one's like a free-for-all bag. All right, let me put this over here. All right, so this has got like a bunch of different like touristy pieces. Like this is Pennsylvania with the moving balls in there. Let's do that for a dollar. We have Las Vegas keychain. Um, bottle opener, knife, and corkscrew. We'll do that for $5. We have a Heineken bottle opener, a Chase light, but it doesn't work. We'll just do that for $4. Corazon means heart. Tequila. Spins. There's a little bit of wear on it. There's no... Um, it's just got this little guy on it, so we'll do that for $3. Las Vegas, um, since it's only a dollar, we'll just do a dollar bottle opener. This, what is this? This is just a faux, this is like a velour. We'll do that for a dollar. This is limited, okay. It's got a bit of a knot here. So what happened? Did something break on it? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see if I can get this out. Un momento, por favor. Okay, whoops. All right, I was gonna say, if I don't get this in like three seconds, I'm just gonna leave it. All right, we're just gonna leave that for now. But it looks like it's fine. And then the pendant is this very large acrylic rock. <laughs> it's just acrylic. Um, let's give you guys a measurement. It is very, very long. Um, it's 20 inches on the drop. And we'll do that for five. In this one, it looks like we got some watches. That says afterthoughts. Ooh, ew, look at that. That is gross. So I'm not even going to do, this is going right into crafting. One dollar if anyone wants it. Elkin, Iken. Oh, it opens, it's a bracelet. It's, I think it could just be cleaned up. It just looks like it has some schmutz on it. Um, it looks kind of small though. Yeah, it's six inches. Um, I will get it working. Um, we'll just do like 10 bucks on it. This one looks cool. This one is Saitano. That one's really cool. Look at that. It is 
like a black and white splatter paint with the gold tone. Very cool. I don't know anything about this brand, so I will put a price on the screen for you. We have a gold tone faux pearl bracelet. All of these little beads I think used to be gold because some of them look not good. So that's just gonna be a dollar in craft. What does that say? J, I don't know, don't know. Oh, this is a Diane Von Furstenberg. Look at this, oh yeah. Right there, Diane Von Furstenberg, woohoo, with a, with a safety chain, very pretty, and thankfully it's in good condition. So that probably can just be cleaned off, but if not, you know, it's not so bad. So that's, um, her initials, I'm guessing. Oh, wait, it goes this way. Ha! DVF. <laughs> Duh, Kristen. So really, 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 really pretty. I'll have to see if I can get this working, but I love it. It is so classy. It is a seven inch, seven inch, and I'll put on the screen for you some information. Oh, this reminds me, I totally forgot. Okay, so while we're on the topic of watches, um, I had gotten this one fixed from last week's video. So it is working, uh, Kyle, Kyle did it, I have to give him the credit. So he got it working and he added the links in. So um, now remember, there is some wear on the gold tone, see it? but it is no longer five inches. <laughs> it is now seven and a quarter. Okay, I would just stick with seven to make sure, you know, to make sure because it is a wide band, but it is all working, brand new battery, size seven now instead of five. I, he added the links. There is a little bit of wear, but I'm gonna do this for 20 bucks, okay? Michael Kors almost forgot about that so here is it's got it's definitely got some wear on this yeah look at see the beads ick one dollar let's look at this other watch it's called watch it <laughs> yeah but this is gross look at see the gold tone it's completely like off on the face so that is going to be one dollar this is really pretty. It says Avon, okay. And the faux pearls seem to be in good shape. Gold tone, very pretty. It is seven inches. And we'll do that for $6. That's really, really cute. This is going right into crafting. Ooh, now we have some inlay bracelets, maybe some coral. Could be spiny oyster, I'm not really sure. Sometimes I get those two confused. But with the inlay mother of pearl as well, looks to be all in, all intact. It is an eight inch, so we will do that for $5. And then we have another one, so make sure you guys give me timestamps in case you don't want both, but they both seem to be in good condition. This one is also eight inches, we'll do $5 on that as well. Okay, this is another Leah Sophia. Okay. It's like an antiqued silver tone. Oh man, we're missing the stone there. One dollar. One dollar holler. Oh yeah, this is not good either. Look at that, all that wear. Nope. Okay. We have a little ring. This is like a little, I don't know, memory wire ring. 
it is about, I would say, a six and a half. We'll do that for $2. You got this ring. This is a stretchy ring with all these different color rhinestones. It's sitting at an eight. We'll do that for $2. You got this orange seed bead one, orange and white, size eight. We'll do that for $3. All this in here doesn't really look too great, huh? We're missing stones out of here, so this is gonna be a dollar. This is kind of cool. This is like an ankle bracelet with all the jingle jangles on it. I don't really think it's in bad con oh yeah. It might be a little scuzzy. It is 10 inches. And I'll do that for five. Yeah, we're gonna skip on that one too. Not in good condition. That one's peeling, so that's gonna be in craft. And we're missing stones, so that's gonna be in craft. All right, so this is what we have left. This is some kind of pin, hat pin, stick pin, I don't know, pin, but it's got some wear along the bottom, so we'll just do that for a dollar. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, okay, well, see this is, I think this is leather, but it's all kinds of grossed up, so that'll, I'll just do that for like two bucks. What is this guy? This looks like, okay, this is um, Indian maybe. Thai, Mayan something. I'm not exactly sure, as you can tell. But he's a little figurine. I think he's metal. So we'll do that for five. Got the sailboat. Gold tone. I don't see any maker marks, but it's in very good condition. We'll do that for five. And these earrings look very pretty. Look at that. These are giving me Egyptian vibes, actually. Like Egyptian revival. Or like Regency, you know, very pretty. I think they're just acrylic black but very pretty very good condition I'll put new backs on them let's do those for five okay <laughs> so we have this looks like blue lace agate very pretty I don't think that this is sterling so we'll do this for five bucks Oh, this one says 925. Does this one? It may have right here, but $5. I already said it. This one we will, oh, this one we will test. It might need to be re-glued because it's kind of moving around. But this is, um, I want to say malachite, but it doesn't really look like it that much. But let's see. Does the clasp say something? No. So let's just test the I don't know if that's gonna even be good enough of a scratch, but we shall see. not coming out as sterling. I don't know if I just didn't get a good enough scratch or what. So I'm not going to sell it as sterling. Plus it needs to be repaired. It's an eight and a half inch drop and we'll do that for five as well. And if it is sterling, then you win. Oh wow, that's, that looks interesting. <laughs> All right, let's look at this first. 
These are little sweater clips to hold like a kimono closed, to hold an open cardigan closed. You can put it on your collar lapels or something. Cute with the little daisies. Um, five bucks. This does not have any markings. Oh, we're missing a stone. Poop. I might have one that fits. It's got a little bit of wear right there. I don't know if that's wear on the back or if it's supposed to look like that. I mean, it's pretty uniform. So let's get a measurement. Seven inches, and we'll do that for four bucks. That's actually scratched into it. The brown cat eye with the, yeah, we're gonna skip that because it's got all gunk on there. That'll be a dollar. This now is interesting because, is it sterling? Is it not? It's all some type of metal. All right, it is, it is magnetic but I just want to see wow this jewelry from this lot does not do well scratching huh okay not sterling just wanted to be sure because sometimes like if this was a chain underneath here holding the beads the chain might be magnetic but not the beads so I just wanted to double check that it seems like it's in good shape. I don't know if you'd be wanting to wear this much metal around your neck, but it's a 10 inch drop and I will do that for, I'll do that for $8. We seem to have a single earring and then we have this bag, Gitano. All right, and then this is the last of it, you guys. Okay, that was a way more in there than I thought. <laughs> So let's move all of you guys back and we'll just pull things one at a time. So we have these earrings. I'm just gonna put those in crafting for a dollar. We have a keychain, a poker chip keychain. We'll do that for two bucks. Oh, I see a new Leah Sophia. That's really pretty. Little star, brand new on the tag. Um, five bucks. That was the earring. What is this? This looks pretty. I think this is the other one. Ooh, these are very pretty. We've got like that dark pink, like fuchsia enamel, gold tone. Beautiful. Beautiful condition. Five dollars. Um, what else can I pull out? That looks like a match. Here we go. This is an earring. It looks very pretty. There's no maker mark. Um, yeah, I mean, they look like they're in good shape. I don't think I see anything missing. Very pretty. We'll do those for five. I'll put new backs on them. Whoever had this jewelry must have liked gambling. This looks like a slot machine. Definitely not gold. Little charm, we'll do that for $4. Ooh, these look nice. Ooh, I like these. Where's the other one? Here it is, yes. With the panther, look how cool these are. These are clip-ons. Do you have a maker? Why don't you have a maker? These are so cool, I love these. They're actually not in bad shape. No maker marks though, so that's a bummer. So we will do these for six bucks. They have a nice substantial weight to them. Really, really great. Love those. We have a little dangly brooch. All the stones are there. There's a teeny little bit of wear, but nothing serious. Pin is bent, no maker marks, so we'll do that for five. 
Looks like we have a Disney pin. There's no pin back unless it's in here somewhere. With the Sweethearts, <laughs> we'll do that for five. Um, what is this? These are kind of cute. Look at that with the dangly snowflake mixed metals. I'll put new backs on them. They seem to be in good shape. This one has a back. No maker marks that I can see. We'll do those for five. Those are really cool. We have this brooch gold tone. Four bucks. Looks like we have a money clip. Gold tone. Five bucks. Oh, what is this? Must have broke off of something. Let's just hang on to it for now. We have these earrings. These are different. All right, I don't think these go together. <laughs> nope. So these are earrings. We'll do those for $3. This is very interesting. And then where's the other one? Uh, here, I think it is right here. Are these magnetic? Yes, okay. So they're not sterling, but they're very pretty, very different. Do those for five. Um, we have a pendant, three bucks. We have this brooch. This has a little bit of wear. No marks. Three bucks. What are these guys? Are these little bells? Little bells. Um, three bucks. We have this brooch, gold tone with blue and clear. No maker marks. Four dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait, we have the, do we have matching earrings? We do. Where's the other one? Right here. Still no maker marks. So for the screw backs, we will do $4. Um, these are earrings. Eek, these got some caca on them. So those are a pass. What is this? This looks like a piece from whatever this came from. So that's kind of a bummer. Put that to the side still. We got this guy, just a little glass stone. We'll do that for two bucks. Oops, sorry. We have a ring, a ding ding. Um, it's got a little bit of wear. It is a, um, adjustable. It's actually quite pretty. All the stones are there. It's sitting at a seven and a quarter. It is adjustable. We'll do that for five. We have an American flag pin. We'll do that for $2. Ooh, we have a number one mom. This might be sterling. Maybe not, I don't see any marks. We can test it really fast. Okay, I'm gonna say no, but we'll see. Nope, tis not. Tis not. So for the non-sterling number one mom pendant, I will do $5. Ooh, we have a little apple. I don't see the mate though. So that's a bummer. It's a single apple earring. So the single, oh, I gotta get my nails done so bad. I go tomorrow. All right, so these are a match. These are black glass faceted. Two bucks, just needs to be cleaned up. We got these. 
Uh, they got some wear. I'll pass. Those will be a dollar. Um, you got the little sand dollars. Dollar. Um, I don't see a match for the little. I got this guy. These are glass. We'll do those for three dollars. Got these, but there's wear, so a dollar. These are stone. Two bucks. These are, these look like real pearls. It's a really long <laughs> post. <laughs> they do say 925 in there. Boom. So they definitely are real pearls then. And the backs say 925. So I will do these for... They're like a pinkish pearl. They look like they're pretty well made. I'll do those for 10. Those are really, really, really pretty. Um, then we got a bunch of studs. They honestly don't look like they're in good condition at all. We got that little charm, that little heart charm. Dollar. Um, you got this ring, but it's, what does that say? Nothing. It looks like it's just aluminum, which is not magnetic. Size six and a half, you can adjust it. We'll do it for five. And yeah, I don't see anything else. Oh, let's do these. These are little stockings. But look, look at that. Ick. compared to that one so that'll be a dollar and then if anybody wants this it's um what is that well this will be like you know two for a dollar they're all but they're all not in good condition at all all right so that was everything and then these will be a dollar each um so i mean not too bad it wasn't exactly super exciting either but give me that thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe right down here. It's free. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.